James Quincy is the president of Coca-Cola Europe. What good does Coca-Cola do you physically? Uh, I think Coca-Cola, uh, as, as the introduction said, does have some sugar in it. It, it is energy. Is it an absolute necessity? Uh, no, it's not. Uh, millions of people uh, enjoy it as part of the, the, their diet ac across the UK. Does have some sugar in it, you say? It does. Why don't you say specifically how much sugar there is in this can, for example? Uh, I think if you find, if you, you turn... Yeah, if you, you, on the side you see 30, you have a percentage on there, don't you? Yes, right here on the front, uh, it quite clearly calls out the amount of uh, sugar yeah. in this can of Coke. And what 35 does it say? Gra 35 grams, which is, you know, about the same amount of calories as a cappuccino or half a croissant. Uh, so there is calories. Is and it? actually, uh, what we're doing is to say, look, the information is here. We want to actually promote right. and make sure Do you people imagine do people know, know if they go to the cinema, and they get, this is a small one, and there are big ones here too. You go to the cinema and you get a, can, uh, a jug of Coke like this. Do you think people have any idea how much sugar's in it? Uh, and maybe they don't. And, 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 and I think one of the well, things we need to do... Do you know what it do... is? Look, look, look at this. 23 sachets of sugar in that single container, the equivalent thereof. Uh, now, that is a staggering amount of sugar, isn't it? Th that is why we're very focused as one of the things we're doing on getting the information out there. We're, we're not trying to hide the information behind what's in uh, a, a Coca-Cola classic. But you are trying classic, to hide it. But there's zero sugar in a Coke Zero. Uh, uh, well, clearly, it's called a Coke Zero. But a, a Coke classic, look at this one here. There's 44 packets of sugar in this one. 44! Indeed there are, and, and I think what we're saying is, look, we want to make sure that people have the information available them, to them so that they can make the choices, and if they don't want uh, the big one, then fine, and that clearly is not one that's going to be for everyone. Yeah, but whether it's 23 in something this size mm -hmm. or 44 in something this size, each of which is to be consumed in one single sitting at a cinema, this is staggering, isn't it? Look, I, I think we do need to recognise that things yeah. need to change, that the bigger oh. cups need to come down. I, I, I don't think that we are talking that the world can't change and the world doesn't move, need to move on. And what it comes back to is we recognise that the reason we are helping to fix this very important uh, issue of obesity is something that's come out from you know, taking into many calories, not burning off activity, many things for many decades, and we're going to be taking action. We're going to put information as well as on the So you accept your role in the obesity epidemic, do you? We need to accept our role, and we do, and that's why we want to focus on actions that we believe will help bring this crisis down. Maybe home. one of these packets in a cup of tea during the course of the day, or maybe even two. 23 in the smallest container at the cinema. The reality, people aren't drinking those. Though. And, and, and I think what we need to focus on is, you know, if we're trying to solve obesity... Thank you very much.